Hey, this is Dano from Tractor DJ Course, and this video is about creating your own key shift mapping. So you can adjust your track key using your controller loop in and loop out buttons without using the mouse. So to do that, we open our preferences, go to controller manager and uh, make sure your controller is selected. In my case, I'm using the S2 MK2. So this is my controller I will be working on. Uh, import should be also the same controller. So in order to create this uh, function, first we need to set up modifiers because we want to use our loop in and loop out buttons together with the shift key. We still want to be able to use loop in and loop out, but when we press shift, uh, we will have an additional function uh, attached to loop in and loop out. In order to accomplish that, first of all, we have to tell the controller manager that we want to use the shift button, which uh, to do so, we use modifiers. So I create a modifier number one, like this. Then we have to tell this modifier which one, what uh, button it is assigned to. So I press learn and I press shift on my deck A. Just press shift once and um, now left shift is assigned to this modifier. I disengage learn so now I have shift here. Now I have to tell this uh, map what it's what the modifier what it's supposed to do. It should behave as a button. That's the only choice here, and it should only operate on hold, and it should set the modifier value to one. So we are done already. So you can see in here modifier state one is changing when I press and hold shift it turns into one when I release it it goes back to zero so the same thing I want to do with the shift button on deck B so I create uh, an additional modifier add in modifier it can be modifier number one again I press learn then I press shift on deck B this time. So this modifier is assigned to right shift, which means deck B shift. I disengage learn. Interaction mode will be set to hold. And the value will be set to 1 when I press it. So now I can see the same thing as before happens when I press shift on deck B. So this is just a convenience. We could do all this with by just using shift on deck A, but we want to use the shift button which is adjacent to our loop in and loop out buttons. So now the modifiers are here. Now we want to create the actual key shift commands. So I go to add in track deck key adjust that's it. So first of all I want to decrease the track key on deck A using loop in. So I press learn, I press loop in on deck A. So now the connection is made between key adjust and the button. Now we have to set the other options here. The modifier condition is only if modifier 1, M1, is set to value 1, this function will be engaged. So this way I uh, still preserve the initial functionality of loop in and it will only operate as a key adjust button when I have shift on deck A pressed and held. So the type of controller is a button. Interaction mode is I want to decrease the 
key by one semitone. That's why I set this loop in, key adjust to decrease. And the resolution will be fine. When I select fine, it will, it will uh, decrease the key track by one semitone. So this should be working already. Let's see if it does. And yes, it does. So you can see here the track key is going down by one semitone every time I press shift and loop in. Okay. So to increase the track key by one semitone, I want to use the loop out button. So I'm going, I'm doing the same thing again actually. Track deck key adjust modifier M1 value is 1. I have to as, uh, I have to assign the button first learn and now I just press loop out. Okay so now we have assigned this control to loop out. The button behaves as an increaser so it increases this value every time I press it and the resolution is fine again just like before. So now we should be able to yes increase the track key by one semitone when we press shift and loop out and we can decrease it by one semitone when we press loop uh, shift and loop in. So we are done for deck A actually. Um, all we have to do now is to, to do the same thing for deck B. So I add another control track deck key adjust press learn. Now I press loop in on deck B like so. Modifier, same thing, M1, value 1. Interaction mode, this one should decrease the track key, so I select decrease and the resolution always fine. So now let's take a look at deck B. I press shift, loop in. Oh, okay, one second. Assignment, yeah, this is what I didn't do before. This is assigned to deck B and these two guys are assigned to deck A. So we have to change that. So the first two controls are assigned to deck A and this control is assigned to deck B. So let's take a look. Okay, now deck B is reacting here, decreasing the track key every time I press shift and loop in. So now only one button is left to do. We go track deck, key adjust once again, learn, this time loop out, I press loop out, say modifier M1, value 1, uh, Interaction mode this time is increase, resolution fine. And this one is also assigned to deck B. So now we should be done. Okay, so shift out in, it's working, deck A working. Good. So, as a little proof, you can see it working up, yeah, it is. Recommendation, of course, don't uh, don't 
uh, shift the key track by more than maybe two semitones. Three is the maximum I would consider using because uh, especially vocals tend to sound very weird when you uh, when you overdo the uh, the track key shift. But uh, one or two semitones up and down is perfectly fine.